Asalaamu Alaikum everyone and welcome to today's Bitcoin update for Monday. 8th of August, new week is upon us and normally you do know that the sun rises from the east but in crypto the sun rises from the south, okay? And it's time that I show you something that I said in yesterday's video here. So what I'm going to do is uh, bring this video right there and listen to this. The biggest sign if Bitcoin actually comes, comes up, to, if you ever see Bitcoin come into $23,700, that would be a game changer, an absolute game changer to me because you're breaking out of three lines. All right, so I'm just going to stop it there, but the game changer has already happened, okay? I just spoke about the details in yesterday's video, but I'm just going to go through this one once again. You came to the end of the apex and I told you a decision is going to come before 11th of August or 10th of August. And finally, it seems like that decision is a pop to the upside, something huge is on the way for bitcoin something huge something crazy is on the way from for uh, for bitcoin and uh, the whole cryptocurrency in general so it's going to be a fun update stick till to it uh, to it until the end of here so let's bring in the emas once again and you can see that uh, you know we are about to make a bull cross you're getting above the 55 now, you're getting above the 10, you're getting above the 20. You are about to make the bullish cross. You haven't done it just yet, and that's uh, that's a little bit of an issue right now. You still have to stick to the reality of it that you didn't yet make the cross, but you're about to make the cross, okay? So the 55, the 10, the 20 here, they're going to go and they're going to actually absolutely make that bullish cross. And once they make that bullish cross, oh man, oh man, I'm telling you, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be huge huge for the ups, uptrend okay we are gonna get that sun really literally rising out from the south it's crazy it's damn 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 crazy you do have the weekly now that is starting off the issue with the weekly that i see actually which is now is not an issue anymore is that if i actually remove all the drawings right now let me remove all the drawings let me remove the emas uh today i was about to talk about this one as well that you do have a doji and that was a decisive doji as well so that uh, if bitcoin is going to continue higher or continue lower but as far as i th as i see things you've taken out the highest part of the doji and it seems like the decision is to the upside simply to the upside that that's that's pretty much it you know pretty much to the upside let's bring back the drawings Damn, I'm so, I just love how it looks now. I just love every single thing, how they look out there. It's amazing, it's amazing, right? Anyways, the next technical target. Now that you've already made this correction to the downside, let's talk about where you're about to move, okay? You are about to get, uh, you know, a little bit of a problem here at uh, $23,777. And if you start to actually break out of this level, then your next technical target to me seems like Bitcoin will be interested to move up to $26,156 at least in the short term here. If, uh, if, if the move is gonna be real, if you're gonna actually pump to the upside, then we're looking for 26,156 as your next technical target. Maybe in the next five days, they're looking for that target up there. And that's gonna be a push up from there to there, we're talking about nearly a 10% move to the upside. Now, we do know that 10% move of Bitcoin is literally a lot of move for, for many altcoins as well. And by altcoins, I just want to check out uh, Bitcoin dominance here because I'm looking at Bitcoin dominance, uh, you know, coming near a level of support right now, which uh, previously you are consolidating in this bearish rectangle box for a very long time now i've been looking at this thing for almost one and a half year now and uh, it's just on the verge of breaking this bearish rectangle do you see the downtrend here the sideways movement like this go up came down and you might end up just breaking a little bit to the downside go back for the back test and fail and then you start to roll down and that means an altcoin season is gonna be on the way you're gonna have an altcoin season that is gonna be huge really huge because if you don't know what, why i say this it's logic okay it's the logic here is bitcoin dominance means that bitcoin is not dominant over the altcoins so if the dominance is dropping that means that people are buying altcoins and when people are buying altcoins you're going to see altcoins moving higher and Bitcoin not doing anything, okay? And that's the reason why so far 
And this is something that I didn't talk about before, but it's really important to talk about uh, right now. So let's talk about this one, by the way. So uh, Bitcoin uh, relation with alts, right? So here we go. I just want to look if there's that image. Yeah, so here we go, okay? So this is what I want to say. When you see the Bitcoin dominance increasing, that means that the dominance here moves to the upside and Bitcoin moves to the upside, then you're gonna see the altcoins dumping to the downside. Why? Because now the Bitcoin is moving up, the dominance is moving up. People are not buying altcoins, they're removing money from the altcoins and they're putting money into Bitcoin. So Bitcoin increases, altcoins dumps, so that's pretty much it. So Bitcoin dominance increases and Bitcoin actually decreases. So the dominance, yeah, the dominance tries to go up, but Bitcoin is actually going down, right? That means that, you know, people are removing money from the, you know, altcoins and they're removing money from Bitcoin as well. But still, Bitcoin has an upper hand than the altcoins a little bit. And that's why the dominance is actually moving a little bit higher, but not in a great pace. Then you're going to see that they decrease rapidly. That's when you have bigger dumps, like literally the crashes to the downside. When you have Bitcoin dominance increase and Bitcoin stays sideways, altcoins can stay sideways as well. And that's what we're currently looking at. Some of the altcoins are just sideways at the moment. And then we're, you're going to see Bitcoin dominance decreasing, which, which we saw in the past few days, which is coming down here, decreasing and uh, Bitcoin increases and altcoins start to pump. Now this would be amazing and this is the, this is what I want to see now. Like when you go down, you have a technical target for this bearish rectangle here from there to there. So if you do see dominance coming down like this and Bitcoin starts to pump, you're going to see huge pumps in altcoins. Like crazy pump. Ape ape shit pump to the upside do you get my point here and when you have bitcoin decreasing uh dominance decreasing bitcoin prices decreasing altcoins remain stable and then we have the dominance decreasing bitcoin staying stable altcoins are increasing and that's the current situation okay you can already see that bitcoin dominance was increasing uh, decreasing to the downside bitcoin was moving sideways altcoins are moving higher did, did you see that altcoins are moving higher so there's answer to every single thing that people think about and it, i just it's been a long time i haven't paid attention to dominance but uh as we were talking about the update today i just it just came to my mind that i just oh man okay so it, it, i was supposed to talk about the dominance damn right but we haven't broken out of the dominance sideways movement just yet we really need desperately need for dominance to break to the downside and continue lower and you're going to see an amazing amazing move for altcoins as well you're going to see massive gains massive pumps to the upside but at least for now, it's pretty clear that uh, what Bitcoin has done is a uh, break to the upside right now. We do need a little bit of a retest here on the daily though. So I'm just going to remove the Fib retracement again and uh, zoom in here and talk about the retracement that I'm talking about. So right now, you can see clearly uh, it's Monday today. So I, I, I'm pretty sure this, this is not a fake out, okay? My gut's feeling, but you really need, if the retest ever fails and you come down to lose 22000 dollars if you lose twenty two thousand dollars then i think that's a fake out and you're gonna go way more to the downside and that's it for today's update on bitcoin hope you enjoyed this one and i'm gonna see you in the next one hello office